Good morning. It's good to see everyone in worship today. Glad that you're here with us. Uh, if you're a guest with us, we're especially glad that you come for uh, this service of worship, and we want to offer a warm welcome to you. Thank you for being here. Um, if you are a guest with us, we would love to uh, be able to connect with you a little bit more. There are um, cards there in the pews that you can fill out. Uh, it's called, our, I guess, our visitor card or guest information card. Uh, fill that out and hand that to the ushers in a few moments during our greeting time or after the service so that we can reach out and uh, connect with you and share more about our congregation. Also, if you have prayer requests, we would love to be able to pray for you or pray with you about those things. Um, and so on the opposite side of that card is a place to share prayer concerns. So we would invite you to do that, uh, share those concerns, let us know how we can be in prayer for you. And uh, likewise, uh, hand those cards to our ushers in a few moments during the greeting time or after the service, and we'll be sure to pray with you. Um, all right, let's take a look at announcements that are happening in the life of the church. Uh, if you'll take a look at your, at your insert that's in the bulletin, I'd like to highlight a few things. You can see uh, happenings in the life of the church. Um, this week is Holy Week, and so in our church, um, where we celebrate that is on Thursday night at 7 o'clock. We'll have a Holy Thursday service, worship service, here in the sanctuary. Um, that Thursday night is the night when Jesus gathered with the disciples uh, and celebrated uh, Holy Communion when he took that Passover meal and turned it into the celebration of Holy Communion that we celebrate today. And so we will do exactly that on Thursday night uh, and um, go through the scripture story uh, of, of, um, of that night. So I invite you to be there for that. And then on Good Friday, our service is at noon. Uh, that's the time on which, uh, at which time Jesus uh, was on the cross. And so we'll have a service at noon uh, for, for that occasion. And then, of course, Easter Sunday, uh, next Sunday morning, uh, 10 o'clock, um, here in the sanctuary, 9 o'clock Sunday school, we'll have an Easter egg hunt immediately following the worship service uh, for the children. Uh, so be here for that. And, of course, our youth will help, uh, help out with kind of facilitating that as well. Uh, so those are things coming up later in this week. You can also see our uh, golf tournament is coming up in a few weeks on April the 13th. Um, you can sponsor that or register and play in that, and there's a QR code where you can, um, you can get on our church website and find out how to do that. Um, and then also save the date for Vacation Bible School, June the 24th to 27th. Uh, we're getting that um, planned and put together. That's exciting, and we're looking forward to that. And, uh, and camp, uh, camp, church camp is June the 10th through the 14th, and um, uh, that is just an awesome, awesome time. Uh, kids going into third grade all the way through graduated high school can do that. Uh, they break them down in age level uh, camps during the week, but we'll travel all together and that sort of thing. So um, that's exciting to, to do. So remember, go ahead and start registering for that. We're having good registrations for camp, so go ahead and get your registration in. All right, at this time, let's stand and greet one another in the name of Christ. Um, walk around, find somebody you haven't met, and let them know you're glad they're here today. join me in the call to worship found in your bulletins. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
Please join me in the opening prayer. Almighty God, on this day, your son Jesus Christ entered the holy city of Jerusalem and was proclaimed by those who spread their garments and palm branches along his way. Grant that we gather to worship today may forever attend him as our Lord and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life. In his name we pray. Please remain standing for the procession of the palms as we sing hymn number 278, Hosanna, Loud Hosanna. seated. As we turn our hearts to prayer as a community of faith, um, let us take a few moments of silence as we offer our personal prayers unto God and then join our hearts and minds together as a community of faith. Let us be in prayer. Almighty and gracious God, it is a joy to gather together in your house this day to celebrate, to celebrate your son who was recognized as king and lord on this day. Lord, may we indeed celebrate his arrival in our lives as well. May we welcome him, making room in our life for him to come and to reign. Lord, we pray that you would remove any obstacle in our life, in our heart, in our mind. Remove any obstacle that keeps him from reigning supreme. Lord, grow our practical faith and trust that we may follow him as our teacher and Lord. And trust him as our Savior. Lord, we lift up to you those who need your healing grace. For Peggy Hensey, for Sandra Stevens, for Jeff Mead, for Bud Mead, for Butch and for Trish Lawney, for Lamar Touchstone, for Ina Stoser, for Don Whittington, 
for Lee Johnson, for Twyla Hotelling, for Bit Brittany Dewey. Lord, for these and others, we lift them up to your care that you would strengthen them, heal them, and help them recover. Lord, grant us a hunger to know you more, a hunger to know your word, and satisfy that hunger, O oh Lord, by your spirit and your spirit's leading in our lives. We make this in all our prayers in the name of Christ, our Savior and Lord. And we pray together as he taught his disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. At this time, we pause to dedicate our tithes and our offerings. Um, you can make your offering in the offering uh, box that's in the back of the sanctuary uh, or also online um, through our church uh, website and follow the links for giving there. Uh, let us um, pray to dedicate and to bless that offering this day. Let us pray. Oh God, we are grateful for your provision and your generosity in our lives. We pray that you would receive the tithes and offerings that we return unto you. Receive them, bless them, use them to build up your kingdom through the ministries and the work of our church. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.
foundation of faith, the Apostles' Creed may be found on page 881 of your hymnal. Please join me at this time, church, in saying what we believe. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, our only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting. Amen. all the children to come down to the front. Jesus Kids, loves your time. me, Please this go I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Good morning. We still have some extra friends coming. Hi. All right. So I really enjoy a great celebration, don't you? What kind of things do we celebrate? God's birthday on Christmas. Okay. What else do we celebrate? A birthday. Very good. What else? Wow. All right. How about a football game? Do we ever celebrate at a football game? Like a cheerleader might shake her pom-poms and cheer for the team? Yeah? Okay. So... I think that today is a good day for a celebration because today is a very special day. Does anybody know what today is? Palm Sunday. Very good. So it's a day when we remember how people celebrated when Jesus entered into Jerusalem on a Sunday around 2,000 years ago. He was walking with his disciples into Jerusalem, and as they came near the city, Jesus told told his disciples to go ahead of him into town. And he told them that they would see a young donkey tied there that had never been ridden. So he says, if anyone asks you what you're doing, tell them, well, the Lord needs it, and he will send send it back to you soon. So the disciples did what he told them to, and they found the young donkey and untied it and led it away. Some men were standing nearby, and they said to the disciples, what are you taking that young donkey for? They told them when Jesus had, what Jesus had said, and they let him take the donkey. So they brought it, the young donkey to Jesus and put their coats on it and made a soft place for Jesus to sit. And as they made their way into the city of Jerusalem, people went ahead of Jesus shouting and shaking their pom-poms or whatever they had. You want to hold a pom-pom? Okay. Oh. You want to hold one? All right. So, what would that whoops, what would that look like if people were shouting and and yeah? Would they be yelling? Yeah. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> okay. They said, "Hosanna!" And blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Others followed behind, and they were also shouting, Hosanna to the son of David, Hosanna in the highest. And all the while, the people lined the streets cheering and waving palm branches, just like you did this morning. It was a wonderful celebration as people cheered loudly for Jesus. Just as the people celebrated 2,000 years ago, we've come here today to celebrate Jesus. What better day to do that than on Palm Sunday? The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. All right, let's pray. Dear God, we celebrate today just as those people celebrated in Jerusalem. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. In Jesus' name, amen. Going to continue with what Miss Leanne was was teaching the children about Palm Sunday because the hour is come. Um, we are celebrating the arrival of Christ and as and the arrival of all of these fantastic musicians as well. Um, this has been a pleasure to prepare with this many musicians, and we hope to keep keep this going. We want to say um, thank you to our guest musicians and our regulars that are here as well. Um, in your bulletin, you should have an insert. Um, you are also invited to sing um, in our first piece, The Hour Has Come. So please take that out and follow along. So, And you'll see me turn around when it's time for you to sing your part. Um, on your bulletin, we have another praise. Um, you'll see listed um, are the members of the chancel choir. And after this was printed this week, we, um, we have a new member. So uh, we'd like to welcome also Aubrey Hardy, who has joined the alto section. <laughs> And she, um, she just jumped in on Wednesday night and has been coming to rehearsal Wednesday, Saturday, and, in, and is here this morning, and we're so impressed with her and so blessed. So, um, we, let's say a prayer before we begin our cantata. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for the celebration of Jesus coming into, not only into town, but into our lives. We ask that you bless this music, bless these musicians as we make our way through Holy Week and help us keep Holy Week holy. In your name we pray, amen.
on the evening of the Passover as Jesus and the disciples were at the table. He said to them, I have eagerly waited to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you, he asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your teacher and Lord, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Very truly I tell you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom.
Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him, and being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. When he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? He asked them. Get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. While Jesus was still speaking, a crowd came up, and the man who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him, but Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? Then seizing him, they led him away and took him into the house of the high priest. As the soldiers led him away, they seized Simon from Cyrene, who was on his way in from the country and put the cross on him, and made him carry it behind Jesus. A large number of people followed him, including women who mourned and wailed for him. Two other men, both criminals, were also led out with him to be executed. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him there, along with the criminals, one on his right and the other on his left. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing.
on the first day of the week. Very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in cloths that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, he has risen. Remember how he told you, while he was still with you in Galilee, the Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words. Amen. Let's stand together as we sing our closing hymn. Um, Choir, thank you so much. What a beautiful, uh, powerful proclamation of the story of Christ uh, through song. As we sing our closing hymn, uh, we invite you to come forward if you um, would uh, come to profess your faith in Christ or renew your commitment to him. We would welcome you as you come. Uh, Let's sing um, number 280, all glory, laud, and honor. Let's sing together.
Right, howdy. Sorry, I got lost for six, just a second. We've been talking about um, Krista Ware coming to join for the last several weeks and finding the right Sunday. And so today is the day, and we're excited to do that. Um, I'm gonna. Um, I want to introduce her to you. You've, you've met her before, but she comes. Um, she's professor of faith in Christ, and she has been baptized. And today she comes to unite with our congregation and become a member here. Um, so I ask you the vow of membership um, in our church, which is, will you follow Christ here in this church and serve it with your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? And your answer is, I will. Amen. Um, I, would you just welcome her with me, and I'll just ask you to do that by repeating after me, we welcome you, we, welcome you. we, love, you. we love you, we will follow Christ with you. We will follow Christ with you. Um, Krista, it's exciting to officially have you as a member of the church. You've been a part of the church for uh, some time now, um, but it's exciting to have you. And we pray just that God will richly bless you uh, as a part of our congregation and that we'll be open to receive the blessing that God is bringing us by bringing you to be a member here. Um, so uh, I'm excited to do that. I'm going to ask Krista to follow me out so that you can come by and just greet her and officially welcome her personally uh, to the church. Um, would you one more time just say thank you to the choir with me, though, for their proclamation this morning? We appreciate all of you, and Laura, thank you so much for all of your work to make this all happen. It is a tremendous blessing, and we are grateful. We are very grateful. Um, next Sunday is Easter, so be thinking now about who you're going to invite to bring with you for Easter Sunday. Receive this blessing and benediction as we go forth. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of his Holy Spirit at work within you. Go in the peace, the power, and the presence of Christ to be his witnesses. Amen. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me. Oh. 